from time to time, I do get very, very interesting emails sent to my very professional business email. You know, developers, studios, companies, companies like Area Studio, who wrote to me today. And this email I found very, very interesting indeed. Our game Worldwide Flight Simulator was released for Nintendo Switch in August. Yes, Worldwide Flight Simulator is the first flight simulation game for the Nintendo Switch that allows you to fly all over the world. Yes, so a developer company reached out to me about their new Nintendo Switch Flight Simulator, right? I mean, the thing is, over the past on this channel, we have reviewed some Nintendo Switch Flight Simulators and they were never really great at all. Right, we have so many, we had, we had this one right here, Pro Flight Simulator, it wasn't pro at all, by the way. We have Island Flight Simulator, which very much sucked. You know, all of these games were very fictional, no real airport was included ever, and this worldwide flight simulator supposedly changes that and, and yes i've already bought it yes right i mean the game uses geodata and satellite imagery so it's already better than x-plane 12 right and it creates a realistic representation of the world and also features the ability to take off and land on more than 10,000 real airports all over the world jesus christ but due to the limited power of the switch the game of course is not the microsoft flight simulator so there will be definitely be some things for you to roast or at least they're being honest about it i mean of course you know technical limitations you know what i thought everybody let's just check this out let's uh, check out how much this thing costs a hot 25 dollars here on the nintendo switch store which is a bits of monies anyway yes we can even see you know what this, the clouds don't look bad in the screenshot that's you know what you know fire right in yes as previously mentioned i've already bought this right here worldwide flight simulator i don't like the logo but you know let's just go and start this all right welcome to the menu screen which actually doesn't look that bad but it sounds bad please can we get we cannot get rid of the music here you have the controls listed here on our little controllers i don't have the full one so i'm gonna use these yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not very well prepared for this video. Anyway, pretty much all we needed to, to fly here. Let's just go and actually just play this, all right? So first of all, you know what? Before we start, let's go and visit the hangar. See what aircraft we can fly. I've never heard of any of those. JZP-112, J-52, maybe like a Cub or something. Yeah, no A380, 747, or 730, or anything that we ever have heard of or ever seen. All right, so um, let's just go ahead and try this JZP. Right. Anyway, you know what? Let's go ahead and press start right here and uh, just see what we can do here. All right. And this is already our, you know, region selection, I guess. All right. We can zoom in or out. We're starting at Osnabrück in Germany land. And we can zoom out very uglyly. You know, it reminds me of my old car with this navigation system being absolutely stupid. Anyway, welcome to the world. Now we can just select a random start here, I guess. Let's just go to the Alpine Mountains. That's always a good place to start. Maybe start here at Innsbruck. Now we have two options here. We can either start airborne or take off from Innsbruck Airport, which actually sounds interesting. Let's go and just spawn into Innsbruck. Will it look like this? Is this a proper screenshot? I don't believe. All right. Now, surprisingly long loading time later, we are back in um, the, the game. And, and you know what? This actually really doesn't look bad. All right, here we are. We've got the control. I've just put the landing gear up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Release brakes. Anyway, so we check this out a little further here. Maybe check out the different cameras we have here. And actually, do we have a live cockpit? It seems like it. That is ridiculous. All right, let's just go ahead and start this engine right here. Of course, no proper interactive cockpit. This is, after all, not the flight simulator. But we can simply um, make this plane go faster by pressing the B button. Here we go. Let's just actually, you know what? Let's already start flying. We've got a yoke animation, which is a... It's a bit weird, this animation, isn't it? Look at this. Anyway, let's actually take off on the Nintendo Switch. All right, looking good. Okay, we're running off the run. We're doing a Pegasus. Proper Pegasus. We've died. This hasn't taken a long time. Wait, all right, we're dead already. Good one. <clears throat> all right, I mean, in all honesty, this has been a bit of a rough start, but everybody, let's focus on the positive aspects here. And I mean, Jesus Christ, look at that satellite scenery. You know, a few minutes ago, I was joking about X-Plane not having satellite scenery, but uh, you know, this actually kind of can hold up to X-Plane scenery-wise. <laughs> Lamau, no, seriously, the scenery seriously looks good. Let's go back into the cockpit. And yes, indeed, as you can see, we've got some live cockpit. It kind of reminds me of GTA for some reason. We can even look around here using this not, you know what? 
This honestly, this is way, way better than I would have expected. That seemed ridiculous, right? But honestly, I'm super impressed. You know, by far, this is the best flight spin we've seen so far for the Switch. But maybe for the landing gear up to maybe see what kind of controls here work. All right, that's the flaps. And I actually do have a bit of a flap, a little bit of a ballooning effect. That is very nice. Look like at that. That's very nice to see. We can put the landing gear up and down here. This is great to see. I mean, the animations are all right, considering this is a Nintendo Switch. We can accelerate, decelerate. This is actually proper nice. You know what? This reminds me of GOFS. You know, pulling some pretty nice satellite scenery. Something we do not have, although is maybe like a map or something, you can easily get lost. I just wanted to advise that. But I mean, after all, I mean, we do have VFR planes here, so we can do some VFR flying. Anyway, so maybe it's not done, but maybe try out some different things. Maybe try out the hangar just to see. We have this this one right here. Wilson Bonbach. Now, this is probably the biggest plane here in the hangar. But let's maybe select a very interesting location right here. I mean, after all, we've got the whole of planet Earth featured in. And you know what? We're going to try, of course. For uh, the island, here we go. St. Martin. How about we go to Saba? Yeah, and take out from TNCS. And I honestly, jump in. Just, we've got Saba here. Oh. Oh. That hasn't... That hasn't gone well. All right. That is not what I expected of Saba. That didn't work. Okay. We've died already. That's, um... That's been quick. All right. You know what? Let's just try to take off here anyway, though. I mean, come on. This could work. All right. Come on. More power. Oh, this is a very hopeless one. All right. You know what? Maybe perhaps try out St. Martin Airport. Princess Joanna here. Just give this a bit of a try. Come on. You can do this. Area. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Okay. We spawned into midair. We're about to die, probably. All right. Come on. Give it some power. Come on, engines. All right. Yeah, there's something I can see is this plane is very much inspired by the Ju-52 kind of style of planes, right? Doesn't matter because we're now coming in for a landing. The runway is licensed model. We do even, do we have a number? We have numbers. That is actually quite crazy. And I, I remember run, Princess Joanna actually has a runway 28. So yeah, even a touchdown zone as well. All right. This was made from proper aviation bands. I can tell. All right, it's coming for a landing. Come on. Yeah, it's been actually quite butter. Let's maybe try to control the plane on the ground here with rudder. So that's actually quite nice. And we're dying once again. See, ending up like Pegasus is maybe like a thing that you have here in this flight simulator. By the way, I know the developers are going to see this. Can you add crash animations? Just wondering. What do I have here? There's a PC-12 on wish. No. All right. It is a PC-12 on wish. So uh, that's great. I've already put the landing gear up again. Great one. Now, right, let's have a bit of a guessing game. I mean, what airport is this? What airport are we spawned into? Everybody, um, we're at Los Angeles. We're at Los Angeles International Airport. Probably from the sky, this is probably going to look a bit better. But yeah, the ground tech. I mean, okay, you know what? I'm expecting way too much. This is a Nintendo Switch. Just the fact that we have any 3D things at all is just amazing. Anyway, yeah, it's starting to come across as Los Angeles indeed. After all, we've got our beautiful satellite scenery. And even we can pull up. <laughs> Look, we, we're now flying in Australia. Which, by the way, totally possible as well here in this flight simulator. Which is very, very interesting. So, everybody, that is Aerior's little flight simulator. It costs $25 here on the e store. Is it worth it? Um. <laughs> man. I mean, obviously, the Switch was always meant for, you know, games like Mario Kart, Super Party, and stuff like that, not crazy games. So just the idea of trying to put a flight simulator into this little console is a bit stupid, but you know what? Considering this is the Nintendo Switch, this is really not bad. Is any X-Plane game here on the iPhone better? Yes. And that's pretty kind of all I have to say. If you're about good simulation, just use your phone. It's um, already a start. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this Switchy video. Now, see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night.